am sacrificing my livelihood. It came with a screwdriver. Little baby screwdriver. I'm gonna call you Franklin and you're my new best friend. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC. And I am feeling good today because this is probably like the first time in literal weeks that I've done my makeup and worn an outfit that wasn't just pajama shorts and a sleep shirt, which is actually what I wear throughout most of this video. So feeling good today because I finally got ready for once. As you guys know, I've been super busy moving into my new apartment as well as work just got busy all at the same time. Um, but moving into a new apartment, obviously you need furniture you know, to sleep on or relax on, work on, or just put your clothes in. So I needed some furniture. I did get some hand-me-downs from my family, um, as well as I was thrift shopping a lot and I was kind of just like driving the streets of LA and picking up furniture, what I could fit into my car. And there was actually a lot of really great items, which I'll show you guys later. But I didn't want to keep bothering friends and family, you know, to borrow their trucks or their manpower to go and pick up a big dresser and lug it up the stairs kind of thing. So I decided for some items that I would just order them online, get them delivered, and then build them myself inside of my apartment. The problem with that is that one, I wanted to get a lot of my furniture from Ikea because I really like that aesthetic and that look, but Ikea was actually unfortunately out of a lot of things. Um, which is kind of a spoiler for this video, so whatever. So that was issue number one. Issue number two is that furniture is really hard to build. And I think it's just because I was alone and some of these directions were just stupid, but I consider myself a very handy person. You know, I build shelves. There was a phase in my life where I was making my own tables and benches, that sort of thing. So I am very familiar around a drill and a hammer and some of this furniture just made me cry just just made me cry <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing the descent into an absolute mental breakdown building stupid tables make sure to like and subscribe so you guys can follow along and just keep watching to see the descent into madness so first I think we should start off with an IKEA shopping montage stunning turn of events, Ikea had nothing of what I was looking for. Absolutely nothing. I was looking for dressers, a bed frame, um, a bookcase, some shelves like those Alex drawers, and office desks. They had nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I don't blame them because I figured everybody's doing exactly what I'm doing, and that's that they're now working from home and they need an office desk and organizational drawers or they're moving out. So they had nothing. So basically I would have either had to have waited a month to get those items or just forego my Ikea dreams and vision and just go with what I could find on the internet. We had to buy a lot of things off of Wayfair because Ikea was out of stock of literally everything that I could have wanted. So the first item that I received was a big old dresser and it's been sitting in my living room for like two days just in this giant box and that's because the reviews 
they all said like this is a great basic dresser except it took me three hours to assemble and I am a professional carpenter. I am not a professional carpenter and I'm alone. So we're gonna see how long this will take us to build uh, but I'm kind of I can't keep putting it off because what you guys don't see is actually the room of clothes everywhere and it's just stressing me out that I don't have anywhere to put them yet so we really got to get this dresser made and we're gonna see how long it takes us to do it so there may be some wine needed but I guess step one is let me let me go sled the dresser in here oh BRB for watching that was all the energy I can exert for the night the time is 9 20 p.m. which is why you probably see a bunch of shadows behind me because this is not real real daylight but have the necessities better not spill that let's get started a blade came out of there that wasn't that dramatic but whatever now 12 23 and I stopped recording because I had a little bit of a breakdown um, right before I stopped recording I gasped because I spilled that entire glass of wine onto my nice new cream carpets yeah then after that I spent about an hour building this and I only cried once basically the directions aren't clear enough about which side should be facing up and whatnot, so there's actually two pieces that are upside down. So structurally, I don't think it should do that, but I'm hoping that once we get these drawers done, it'll be a little better. I have started two drawers, but I still have a lot to go. And I'm kind of just over it, um, three hours minimum, I would say. Uh, it was kind of hard. I probably shouldn't have done it by myself, but I'm just gonna sleep it off, try to figure out how to get out this wine stain, and we're gonna regroup in the morning. There's the damage from last night. My shame! Day two of building this dresser, but I'm feeling much less defeated today, so let's get this done. looking why I still have 20 screws left over and I missed an entire step of adding the freaking slides to the dresser so I still have like another hour to go this is stupid So going on hour five of this stupid dresser, and I'm not having fun, you guys, you know? Um, I don't even like this dresser that much. It was just all that was available because, you know, Ikea didn't have the one I wanted. They didn't even have this one in white, which is what I really wanted. So I don't know why I'm putting in all this work for a dresser I don't even like. I just needed to hold clothes, but I couldn't buy one used because I didn't have a truck or the strength of two men to carry one into a truck and up the stairs into my bedroom. But we're almost done, so let's hang in there. Just about six hours done for a dresser I don't even like. And I'm too tired to take off all of the number stickers, so that's a project for future JC. But for now, I either need coffee or a nap, so bye. Well, fun news, not two minutes after I finish that dresser, I get a knock at my door, 
and my beauty desk arrived. I have a work meeting in 30 minutes and I don't think that this desk will be as big of a bitch as that dresser because there aren't any drawers. It's literally just, it's actually a console table. So it's not actually a desk, it's more of an entryway table because I wanted something long and thin. So it seriously should just be a tabletop and four legs. So, 1.30 on the dot, let's get this done in 29 minutes, go. Ugh, look, there's only one piece of directions. I'm already so much happier. And it just says, put the legs on. <laughs> That's it. Oh, what a relief. I should unwrap them all first. There's no way. Oh my God, why is furniture so hard? This should be so straightforward, but it's like impossible to get any kind of motion that deep. I don't understand. Wait, oh my God, hang on. Am I the dumbest bitch in the world? Wait, I'm gonna feel, you guys are gonna feel so dumb in a second. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you guys, I'm so dumb. This is gonna take five minutes. I was doing it the wrong way. I didn't put the leg in the hole. I was doing it opposite. I'm the dumbest person in the world. Ugh. Why would I think that would be even possible? Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I hate myself. This is going to take five freaking minutes. Ugh. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's been a long week. I haven't gotten a chance to nap yet, like I said I would. I didn't even make myself that second cup of coffee. I'm just stupid. <sighs> All right, time lapse time. All right, I lied. That took three whole minutes. <laughs> I'm going crazy, you guys. But this is done. This is my favorite piece so far because it didn't make me have a mental breakdown all the way. So let's do living room stuff now. So I bought a couch off of Wayfair and it was exactly what I was looking for. It's a three-seater couch with a chaise lounge, which was imperative for me because that's my favorite spot when I'm watching TV. And this couch took literally less than 10 minutes to assemble. It truly was the beacon of how simple furniture building should be. All we had to do was just kind of like place these brackets and then pop on all of the pieces. There was no screwing. It's kind of just like using all of the friction to hold it together and it worked out nicely. So I really liked how it turned out. I used mustard and gold accents and those are the accent colors of my living room. So I love this couch. However, the next item was another nightmare to put together. So I bought a white wooden bed frame off of Facebook Marketplace and the guy pretty much just handed me all of the pieces and a Ziploc baggie full of screws and bolts and said, good luck. It was pretty much like putting together a puzzle because there were a ton of pre-drilled holes, but you had to figure out if a bolt or a screw went into those holes. So after about two hours and being halfway done, we realized that some of the places where we use bolts should have been screws and vice versa. So I got pretty frustrated. Here I am laying down, just tired and angry. And here I am standing up being tired and angry because we pretty much had to unscrew everything and re-screw it back in using the correct pieces. We did take a little break after two hours then came back and only spent another hour putting it together which is an unnecessarily long time for a bed frame but we set up the slats pushed it against the wall and then unwrapped my new mattress from Wayfair and let that inflate so it's a lot more stable now and it's gonna be a lot more comfortable the next item was gonna be my office desk and I was going to just time-lapse it because I thought it would be simple but as it turns out it was not hi it's me 
and we're in for another headache with this dumbass piece of furniture. Let me show you. Okay, so step one says to have piece FT and HS and to put the little dowels in them. Well, I never got an HS piece. Instead, I got two FT pieces. So they look like this. And I was like, okay, they're pretty much the same. We're just gonna consider one of the FT pieces, the HS pieces, fine. The problem is that as I got further, here are the two pieces. See how there's two holes on the right side and then the dowels, I did them opposite like the photo. Well, in a later step, they need, I need a piece with the holes over here. They need to be over here. So already I'm backwards, so I'm gonna have to drill my own holes. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, there's no freaking directions, you guys. There's no, like you literally, I studied this photo for 15 minutes before attempting to start it because you just have to figure it out. So when it got time to do the actual, oh my cats. So when it came time to do the hinges, look, these are the directions. It's just like, okay, figure it out. I also have no idea what this tool is. So I had to use a drill to drill my own holes because I don't know what the heck that thumbtack is and what that's supposed to do, but there was no pre-drilled hole. So I had to drill it myself. They're just basically like, well, here are the directions. Good luck. you guys final stretch of assembling some dumb furniture this is my first and only purchase from Amazon so I'm hoping that the assembly will be a lot more user-friendly than some of this Wayfair crap um, this box is pretty beat up not gonna lie and it looks like it's been opened <laughs> Um, so hopefully nothing's damaged, but this is a baker's rack. It is going to go in my kitchen to fill some of those funky gaps. If you recall from my apartment hunting tour, actually no, from my empty apartment tour, that there are just some weird gaps in the kitchen, so I'm hoping this will fill it. So I'm going to give myself one hour to do this. So let's go. Properly labeled bless your heart Amazon I'm already so much happier this is how this is how it should be you need individual you need all the tools separated and numbered and not just be like figure out which screw I'm talking about I'm talking to you Wayfair you kill me you kill me Step one, done. Oh, that was step two actually, sorry, I lied. Step three. So I'm done, the only thing I'm confused about were there, there's two wooden things in here. And maybe that was just a cushion, like in transit. But I hope I didn't like miss a step because it looks done. Cool, now let's go put it in the kitchen. All right, so here is the final baker's rack in a weird nook in my kitchen. So on top, I put some spices because I found it really frustrating that my stove was over here, but to coming at spices, I would have to come all the way over here so I'm glad 
just for that little shelf right there and for this little prep station. So right now I put the toaster and some fruit there cause yes, I'm a healthy bitch. But I found that I'm when I'm making breakfast, so if I'm making eggs right here, I usually have to come all the way over here where my plate is to put my eggs on. So it'll be nice to just have a station right here to throw my eggs on right away. I put my microwave on the slidey shelf because it was the only place it could fit and I am kind of worried about the strength of that shelf. It seemed to be kind of buckling and as a result, the back wheel actually fell off. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that and just try not to move it. I've also added some of my blue pots and pans to add a little bit of pop of color and show that I cook. And then on the side, it came with some hooks. So I just hung up some of my Dollar Tree utensils. I got a spatula, a slotted spoon, and a spaghetti spoon. All right, and that was my video on building furniture and my descent slowly into sadness and frustration. So thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this of me just getting settled into my apartment, as well as if you wanna see how the furniture works inside my space, how I de decorate, that sort of thing, make sure to like and subscribe and join me again to see how it all comes together and how I'm enjoying life in Los Angeles. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles! Okay. Ugh. Got my necessities, and the time is. Oh my god, my Fitbit's dead. Ugh! It's not a good start!